The way back will come but once. Be steadfast. So hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Fantasy Talk, my name is Chase, and today I am doing the accepted test book tag. I just butchered that. I'm doing the accepted test, a Wheel of Time book tag, which was originally created by Ritima. She's one of the best small booktubers that I've seen as far as her analysis and just the way she breaks things down. She's really cool. Go check out her channel. All right, so I've put a little bit of thought into some of these questions. Others have just kind of skimmed. So just bear with me here. So there's 10 questions here. Some of them have a little bit of spoilers. Specifically question three is spoilers for Lord of Chaos. So if you don't want any spoilers at all after question two, then you can just scrub through past three and go on to number four. Number one, how did you first hear about the Wheel of Time? And what made you want to read the series? I first heard about this series from Daniel Green, which is like probably everybody's answer. And I didn't even know what the Wheel of Time was until like this time last year and I think I saw his like either why you should read or before you read or the mythology of the Wheel of Time and what I really what made me want to read it I think is when he just described it as being a renaissance setting just the cultures and different things like also with the amount of books that were in the series and then I started like googling and seeing that it was like actually really well reviewed and liked and so all that together just seemed like a series that wasn't like any other and then the other part was that I saw that there was a TV show coming and I wanted to be able to read all of the books before the TV show started because once you've seen the show, going back and reading the same material isn't as fun to me. All right, number two is if you had the chance to join an Aja in the White Tower, which one would you join? So I think a lot of book tubers or bookish people would probably say the brown Aja because we just want to read all the time. I feel like I'm more of a gray Aja. I think I'm more of a negotiator or in between, you know, like to resolve conflict, especially in my previous job as a manager, having to resolve conflict was something that I actually enjoy doing because who doesn't like calming two people down who are at their throats and trying to make them be friends. I feel like that's something that I actually do enjoy doing, so that's probably the Aja that I would pick. The corresponding question for the Grey Aja is, what is a character conflict in the Wheel of Time that I wish was resolved faster? Hands down, this is Perrin. Oh my God, I'm sorry, like I love Robert Jordan, but what he did to Perrin is like a crime. Like I also don't know what to do with Perrin uh, instead of what Robert Jordan did, but I would rather him have not been in the other books I really wish that he had wrapped up his stuff sooner and then we could have had him do some other things in the story that would have been more engaging and could have also made the world seem bigger because he's basically just like in the woods for like three or four or five books. Question three. This is the question that has minor spoilers for the Lord of Chaos. If the Black Tower had Ajahs, what might some of them be? So we know the Black Tower in the actual series is more of a militaristic organization. So I'm going to talk about it after we are past the series when that shouldn't be necessary as much anymore. And so what I thought here was dividing it up by five Ajahs. So we're going to have it uh, spirit, water, wind, fire, and earth. And so spirit for me would be the Aja that is looking to prevent the return of the Dark One and working with the White Tower, kind of being like a liaison to the White Tower and making sure that we're coordinating with them. So spirit would be the White Aja. In the Black Tower, the next one would be Water, and Water is the Blue Aja, and what they would be in charge of would be Commerce and Trade. The next one is going to be Earth, which is the Brown Aja, and what they would do is be over Agriculture and making sure that there is a robust food supply. Then we have the Gray Aja, which is going to be Wind, and what they're going to be in charge of is controlling weather patterns, trying to make renewable energy, and just doing more research into start generating electricity. We can move forward with the industrialization that we saw Rand trying to put forward by establishing universities and things like that. And then lastly, we've got the Red Aja, which is going to be Fire, and what they're going to be in charge of is Warfare. So they're going to be kind of like the Battle Aja from the White Tower, so they're going to be in charge of training all Ashaman in at least basic combat weaves, and then also looking at the Shan Chan in case they decide to attack again. Number four, who's a character you love but would hate to meet in real life? I think that Rand is actually the one that I wouldn't want to meet in real life because like, he's a great character to follow. He's one of the most interesting characters. He's the best character in my mind from Wheel of Time, although not my favorite. But there's no way in hell I am staying in a room with him. Like, Number one, I might just like trip over a pebble and break my neck. Number two, I may end up just marrying someone random and then all of a sudden I'm married and I've like, I'm in a 
binding legal contract because he's Tavir and he's just making me do stuff that I would never do like 999 times out of a thousand. And then there's also the possibility that he's just going to hang me for some reason. So I don't want to meet Rand at all, but he's a great character. Number five, who's a character from another book that would make a good warder? So I considered a few people here. I thought about Logan Nine Fingers since I'm reading First Law. If it was just Logan, then yes, I would love to have him as a warder, but you got the bloody nine and I would be really afraid that he would go berserk at the wrong moment. I don't think he would attack me, but I think he might just start like attacking other people. And what if I'm, if I'm Grey Aja, I'm trying to do a negotiation. All of a sudden the bloody nine's coming out and hacking people to pieces. That's not gonna work. So what I settled on was Kaladin because because Kaladin's whole thing is he wants to protect people. Now, yes, you could say that he's not very good at it, and yes, you, you have a point, but I know that Kaladin is gonna agonize over making sure that I am always safe. And while that could be a little annoying, the whole point is that he's gonna protect me. Number six is what's a scene from the books that you're excited to see on screen? So there's a ton of them, but spoilers for Gathering Storm. I'm laying it out there, spoilers for Gathering Storm. Egwene in the tower, linked with novices, blasting dragons out of the sky. Number seven, what are your favorite and least favorite book covers? All right, so I've got these pulled up here. So that we all know the Eye of the World is classic, it's beautiful. Uh, Dragon Reborn is not bad. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think this is the best cover, but my favorite cover is the Crown of Swords. Like, it is so ridiculous. First of all, Shadow Logoth looks amazing. Like, great job by the artist, it looks spooky. I love the blue color. Like, it looks ruined, there's the mist, like, it's all great. But I love Rand just, like, doing, like, a karate pose, and then just, like, looking over this way. And not only that, you know how Donald Trump stands with his legs straight and his body is leaned forward? But, like, Rand here is doing the opposite, like, his, his body is straight, but then his, like, ass and legs are, like back backward it's hilarious i love that i fucking love that cover all right least favorite cover man lord of chaos is also hilarious oh man i i don't i don't dislike any of these covers really except i think like knife of dreams is, <laughs> knife of dreams is <laughs> knife of dreams is boring as fuck fires of heaven is just they're all just standing around i think the great hunt might be the worst cover because it looks like loyal and i guess that's supposed to be land fear I don't know who that is. Is that Loyal? Loyal and some lady are watching somebody play like a solo on a horn. I know what the actual thing is, but it looks like, like the way that it's lit, it just looks like they're like enjoying a little concert. This is great. Is there any other series that the actual material of the writing versus its actual covers is like more of a gap? Because I can't think of one. Number eight. What's a location in the Wheel of Time that you'd like to visit? I think the city I'd like to see the most is Ibudar. Would I actually want to be there? Yes, as long as I've got Kaladin and Syl being my warders, you know, with me. Because I'm not trying to get in a fight because I like, my eye flicks a certain way and somebody's like, Hey, you talking to me? And all of a sudden I've got a fucking knife in my neck. So that's one option. The other one would be... I like to go on vacation, you know, can we go to Trammel King and get some, you know, what is it, tea, coffee, I don't know, whatever Trammel King Black is. Number eight, what's, oh, I already did that one. Number nine, if you can make your own Terangriol, what would it look like, blah, blah, blah. what would it look like, and what would it do? I love basketball, I love playing basketball, but one thing I've never been able to do is dunk, because I can't jump over a phone book. And so what I, my Terangriol would be, would be like a metal Boston Celtics logo, you know? And then it would allow me to jump really high and dunk a basketball. I, you know, I can't think of anything that's more important than that. Number 10, what's another book or a series you think Wheel of Time fans might like? So everyone's going to say Stormlight, and they're correct. Uh, I'm going to go with The Shadow of What Was Lost, uh, first book of Lycanius trilogy. It doesn't have the same character depth of The Wheel of Time, so if you're like a full-on, I have to have like the most deep characters of all time, uh, that may not be for you, but the world is kind of like a really cool twist on the world of the Wheel of Time. They even have like an Aerith Ocean, and I'm pretty sure like in my headcanon that the world of Shadow of What Was Lost is actually the Shan Chan continent, but like in a future age. And there's the Aerith Ocean on that side, and then there's Randland. Magic system is kind of similar to the Wheel of Time, but it has its own twists, where magic users, like the male channelers in Wheel of Time, how everybody's scared of them and hates them. Uh, it's kind of similar to the gifted in the shadow of what was lost where they are kind of shunned and they're like a second-class citizen if you want like a really fast-paced version 
of a twist of Wheel of Time, uh, which it still has good characters. It's just not, don't expect to get like Ram, Matt, and Eve, and Moraine, and Egwene. And, and that's it. I did it. So y'all let me know if I passed my accepted test so I can take off this novice white. This was a lot of fun. Check out my channel. I just posted a video the other day of some stand-up comedy based on the Mistborn series. So if you like Mistborn and you like comedy, I'll put it right here. You can go watch it. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time. Peace.